you know ePlan, right? Typically, ePlan here, we work for uh, these guys, the guys in the office, the guys that actually do the uh, computer work, the design, the electrical schematics. Now, this new tool is actually destined to this guy, the electrician, the guy that actually does the wiring. It's called the ePlan Smart Wiring. ePlan Smart Wiring is actually made for tablets or laptops that you'll give the electrician. It's paperless. So of course we know this one, right? We create our schematics. In our schematics, we have wires. These wires are all identified with a wire designation, a color, and a gauge. As you can see here, this one actually comes from the potential. If I change this to a bigger size, you will see the bigger size wire being transported onto all of these ones because they all belong to the same potential, same as down here, uh, these other wires. Now, what we want to do is we want to hand over either the typical wireless to the electrician. We know we can already print the labels in different formats so the electrician doesn't have to actually type these. And this is done through the labeling tool. The same tool will now give us the right list for the electrician to work on the smart wiring. So instead of giving him a list only, like this Excel sheet that I'm going to show you here that has all the details, right? The components, source, target, as well as the size and the color, if it's a sign, of course, and maybe some other information. This is the data that is required for the smart wiring to work. So I'm going to start now the ePlan smart wiring. So I'm positioning myself in the shoes of this guy here. Start the sp smart wiring. I have an empty panel in front of me. I start my wiring and I open the project that we just looked at. So this project was here under data, smart wiring, uh, demo, uh, no 3D. So just a simple uh, project here. And I'm going to start this project. This project initially has a certain number of wires, uh, 338 wires. You can sort here. You can, of course, go down. As you can see, the status right now is all red. Nothing is installed yet. I can actually filter for specific colors. Let's say here are the red wires. And if I start by wiring something, the status turns into green, which means it's installed. Or if I only install on one side, it's partially installed. So I can basically install the wires as we go on and on and on like this. And when I'm done uh, with the filter, it moves back onto the partially installed. If I want to go back, I can lock that wire for the moment. I can go back and uh, eliminate the filtering, go back to, let's say, maybe the blue wires or the black wires in a certain size, and then I can continue. I can do, okay, let's uh, sort this by the source. So we have all the TVs. I'm going to wire up all the TV side partially installed. Some of them I'm going to wire up the two sides, etc. So it's it's my choice. I'm the electrician. Back on the ePlan side, very often the guys come back and have some changes. They want to change some connections. They want to eliminate some, some of these items. For instance, here we have uh, wires uh, or, or breakers that are not even used. So I can eliminate them. But of course, by simply eliminating them like that, you are rewiring some of the wires. You are basically pushing the wire that was originally connected to one of the CBs down to this circuit breaker here. You may want to change the way these are connected. You may want to say, okay, both of them actually can come up from the transformer because it's actually a little bit easier for me to wire up like that. It's smarter. Perfect. You can go further down the road and look at some uh, schematics here. You can say, well, why do we keep some spare pilot lights? It's, it doesn't make any sense. Why do we keep here some stuff that nobody uses? Or you need additional wires, right? So this could actually be something like in this case here, uh, you could also maybe move some of the wires around. So basically say that, oh no, sorry, this, this light here is actually now connected there. Why? Because I needed another one for system four. Copy, paste, whoops, what did I do? Uh, X, Y, I'm just gonna place it back. Do not modify, but I'm gonna paste another one down here, just place it there, have it numbered, bingo, like this, and that's for my system 4B. You see the picture, right? You, you can actually do these kind of things very easily. 
4B, let's say, or whatever. Uh, so we're adding some wires. We're moving some stuff around. Uh, we are adapting some of the wires. Uh, eventually, you are deciding, like in this case here, yes, we will need uh, forward reverse. So uh, I'm going to add some additional wires in here, uh, etc. It doesn't really matter what the changes are. Uh, could actually now be reflected in a wireless. Of course, we all know that if I go back to my wireless, the wireless gets updated. Perfect. But now, how do I identify what the electrician has done or not done? I don't know. So, by handing over the same Excel sheet that I had before uh, to the electrician, okay, like a new version of this, the ePlan Smart Wiring will do the job of trying to figure out, okay, what needs to be untied, what needs to be installed, and this is done here through the update project. So if I update the project using the same project, it will actually look at the project. Of course, we have now a, a, a bunch of new wires that are to be considered, some of them that have to be untied. This is why the status is a little bit uh, updated, the numbers, we can see that something got imported. And here we can see we still have some wires that have to be installed, some other wires though, they have to be, they, they were removed, and, and I didn't even touch them, that's perfect. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look in the status here, and suddenly I see I have partially installed, these are the ones I did before, installed, I did them before, they are still the same, so I'm fine. But I have wires here to uninstall. This means I actually did install stuff, these breakers that we saw before, that were actually removed. So now if I untie them, they get removed, and I can, of course start by those ones and when I'm done with removing the ones we did whether they were partially installed or completely installed I lose the status of as we did before the uninstalled now I can go back to my regular status which was basically the not installed the installed I can forget about and the partially installed and I can continue my work and this can be republished as many times as you want this is really interesting. You can also sort by colors. You can filter by colors. You can filter by sizes of wires. You can sort by source and target if that actually helps you. This is up to the electrician to decide. This is really a revolution in the way we handle wiring on the shop floor. Amazing, totally amazing. This was the ePlan Smart wiring so we're talking about helping the electrician on the shop floor instead of giving him a paper list like this and he has to figure out what to do or even worse when you give him a schematic and you figure out what the changes were you can describe as much as you want but it's not very easy to do what the smart wiring does so if you can pick that smart wiring you're interested call your e-plan guys you can get it for free until next year you can test it if you sign up uh, this year by the end of the year so this was Roland from ePlan Canada trying to show you what ePlan does best. ePlan Smart Wiring is amazing. I tell you, get it.